Always a vibe, always on time. Hold the applause, we have a rap. It was the talk, they tell you we're grinding. So go tell your very best friend to subscribe. It was the talk, they tell you we live. Giving you love and good vibes. That real man, it got people packed, lethal. I show up like Peter and Ray, or too fly to keep quiet. Hey, if Walsh can talk, yeah. so tell me. Boy, I've been weekend and now we keep it good. Another episode of If Boss Get Time. Today we got new music from Kelvin Dukes called the Cha Cha Slide. Oh yeah! And today we got another specialty segment by me. Uh, it's called Daryl's Devotionals. Today we'll be talking about the power of the tongue, life and death, what you speak and what you say, what it really means. Also, for our talk time today, the topic is religion versus spirituality. Can you have one without the other? Mm -hmm. And to cap it all off, we have a game called Lip Service. So let's get into the show today. Let's go! So we got new music by Kelvin Dukes. It's called the Cha Cha Slide. He's 13 years old and his Instagram name is Kelvin.Sings. He's a singer songwriter mm. he's an actor and he's only 13 years old he's so popular wow. on instagram because he's so great so enjoy the cha-cha slide nice. yeah. i'm not staying up in this house no more my friends called me now they're right at my door got on my dancing shoes about to groove till i can't no more Friends, we turn up the dance floor. One, two, three, get it. We came to party, party. devotionals real quick. This week, we'll be talking about the power of the tongue, life and death, what you speak, how it affects and how it affects your life and, and, and your, your surroundings. So let's get into it. Check it out. Today, we'll be talking about the power of the mouth, the power of the tongue, life and death. We have the ability to speak life or speak death. God has given us that power, that choice, that authority over our own lives and the things around us and the things that we're connected to. Um, I love the fact that Oprah says this. She says that your words literally follow you, that whatever you speak out, God has designed and strategically orchestrated the universe to respond to what you say. So you can get up this morning and say, hey, I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing anything today. I'm just so tired. I don't want to do it. And the universe will literally respond to that to the point where your whole day will look like what you said that morning. I don't feel like doing it. And I know we don't think about it that way. We'd be like, oh, that's just me just talking. I'm just saying it. But what you don't realize is that you literally have power here. You have authority here. God gave it to you. So I want us to be mindful of the things that we say and the things that we, we, we speak on or speak over. Um, I want to read something to you. Proverbs 18 and 20 through 21 in the Message Bible says, Words satisfy the mind as much as fruit does the stomach. Good talk is as gratifying as a good harvest. Ooh. Words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or they're fruit. It's your choice. So I want us to remind ourselves um, every day that everything you say literally matters. So when you talk to your kids and you say, you just, you just so terrible, you're speaking that into his life or her life. When you speak on your job and say, I hate it here, you're speaking that into your atmosphere, you will literally hate it. You will literally not be happy or be positive there because you've already spoke what it is to you. So I want us to be mindful of that. So if you want to see blessings, speak blessings. If you want to see life, speak life. Um, also, before we go, um, life is sustenance. It's nourishment. So you want to speak sustenance. You want to speak nourishment into your life. Death is mortality, expiration. When you speak death, when you speak expiration, you're giving everything you, you, you're connected to or whatever you're connected to an expiration day. You want it to flow, you want it to live, you want it to thrive. You understand, there is power in what you say. Always know that. 
This is Daryl's Devotionals right here on If Falls Could Talk. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and bless me as well as you guys. And you know, this is cool. Don't say what you don't want to say. Don't say, don't what, say you don't what you don't mean. mean. Feel what I'm saying? Um, next coming up is our talk time. You know, it gets it gets cracking in our talk times. All right, we're gonna be talking about religion versus spirituality. Let's do it. Welcome back to If Walls Could Talk. Welcome back. Now, you tune right on into our talk time, and we're going to get right in it. Now, what is the difference, do you think, between religion, following religion, and spirituality? Religion is separation, if you ask me. You got all these religions, and actually all these denominations, and it's just a whole bunch of people being separated, I think. Give me Jesus. Y'all can have the rest. And then for spirit, 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 spirituality, for that, depending on what you're talking about, because I know a lot of people who say they're spiritual and they worship like cows and do Felix. rituals and chakras and <laughs> crystals and stuff. So nah, but if you're really talking about like your, you know, spirit and stuff, yeah. I think the difference between religion and spirituality, religion is the discipline. Religion is the guideline, it's the blueprint. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the blueprint. But, but you don't think people, religion is separation? People, people map, it, people, it depends. it depends. Like, if I were to argue Jesus Christ over Buddha or Muhammad, Jesus that's, the, that's the study of apologetics. And you can't effectively argue Jesus if you don't know Jesus, and not on the, his life, but his divinity. Yeah. So different regions, people are exposed to different things. And you never know that region just might have, not have heard they might have heard of Jesus, but in their culture and in their influence, where they are, they're Muslim. They're predominantly Muslim. They're predominantly Buddhist. They're predominantly nothing. So I think that spirituality, though, spirituality is the actual, you know, I'm in filled with the Holy Spirit. I know Jesus. I know God. But people want separate when truly they're supposed to be married, mm -hmm. in my opinion. They are. Okay. I agree. Religion um, is the guideline. It is the blueprint. It is the... Um, Basically, the guidelines, so to speak, where spirituality is the um, relationship. the relationship. Mm -hmm. You cannot have one without the other. Mm -hmm. You need religion also, but you need the relationship. Um, and I don't think that people really understand. They think that religion is rules and traditions. Yeah. And but yeah, they think that that's what religion is, but that's not what it is in its entirety. Yeah. It is also it's it's also accountability. When done right, where spiritual yeah. yeah, when this done right and it's in its right intention, intent and in right form, where spirituality is the thing that covers and helps you and guides you through that. Um, I think that there should be a perfect marriage. I used to think that it was religion versus um, spirituality, but the truth of the matter is, it's both. Okay. And you have to have a perfect balance of both. Okay. And I didn't realize that until I got older. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And I started to really get into the to the depths of who Jesus is for real yeah. in my life. Which there is a necessary need for both. And that's just really kind right. of the truth of it. Okay. For me. Right, I agree. So is it easy to claim one over the other? It's it's, it's easy it's, to do that. It's yes. easy now, especially because everybody's so confused and everybody's so sure that, well, I'm gonna throw that whole book away. I don't need that because I know who I know and the universe is going to protect me. And so I'm just going to be extra spiritual, but that's just like riding a horse without the saddle. True. And I also think that spirituality without um, guidance, without, without studying without and without discipline. knowing what you're talking about, without discipline and just going off of feelings, that's not, to me, that gives you no real sustenance. That doesn't, that can't sustain you, that can't, it's it's kind of just like, I'm going to go with what, go with the flow, go with the wind, with no real direction. It's confusion. Yeah. Being lost. Um, okay. So, can you be a Christian and deny both? Absolutely not. You don't yeah. want the religion and you don't really care for spirituality. No. You just say, oh, well, I believe in God and I listen to gospel songs and that's it. If you think I you can make it by uh, going to church. I also understand that. It depends on where you are in your relationship with Christ. Right, your where walk. You are is in your walk with yeah. Christ. So, if you if you're at the baby stages, that doesn't mean that 
you're wrong or going to hell because you prefer one over the other. Right. It's just that you're in your, your earlier stages. Right. But as you mature, as you you go through the sanctification process, as yeah. you go through the cultivation process, mm -hmm. through growing and learning and pushing and knowing and knowledge and wisdom and all those different things, yeah. then you start to learn yeah. um, that you do need both. Yes. But, some, but it doesn't mean that just because you don't know that you need both right now, that there's something that wrong you're disqualified. Yeah, that, that, that's not that 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 Right. Word of the day. So. It's important that you are constantly seeking knowledge. You're constantly seeking God about these things. Yes. And, you know, wherever you are, that's okay. Now, join the conversation and leave your comments below. I want to know. How you feel? How you feeling? How you feeling? So now, up next, we got a little game for y'all called Lip Service. Let's try it. Woo. Welcome back to If Walls Could Talk with you. What up, what up, what up, people? We're about to jump right into this next game. It's called Lip Service. We all get a chance to play. So one person has to put in headphones with music, like blasting, while the other people say something to them. Now we have to see who can guess what the phrase is, and we can each get two tries. Raise Let's first. Play. Let's try it. Let's do this. Ready, set. Play. Play. Zion is greedy. Take Zion to the store. <laughs> One more. One more. Okay. Zion is greedy. Zion is weird. <laughs> that was close. So, the line is, I am the night. I am that man. <laughs> You're talking loud, Jesus. You can't hear it. <laughs> Go ahead. What did you oh say? Okay, the line is, I am the knight. I am Batman. Just say something. I don't know what he's saying. I try it. Words either. I don't mouth about it. Try Go ahead, it. Try it out. I am the knight. I am Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what he's saying. Say something. Just guess. Why would I say it, but I don't know what he's saying. Just say guess. Say you have to take a guess. Your mom is great. Oh, um, no. You're soft. I am the knight. I you can't understand am you. Batman. I am the best at what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You lose. You lose. <laughs> Who's doing mine? Me. Freya? My name is Paco and I suck toes. I almost got it, I swear. Last time. No, you have to give it. Just give it one more time. No, that's, that's it. it. That's it? My name is Paco. <laughs> this ain't the last part of my <laughs> He's my turning it down. He's cheating. I, I lick toes. I don't He's lick cheating. Toes. He just turned the music down. He's cheating. cheating. I don't lick toes. Lick toes. Ooh, well, the winner is me. Tell me what so, doing. anyways. Oh. We're wrapping it up. Hey, no we'll see y'all next time on If Walls Can Talk. We all no. lost. It's okay. Like, Everybody losing every once in a while, but I we all lost all the time. I'm a winner in Jesus' eyes. Yeah, he thought I was to die for it, so he came and sacrificed his life so I could be free and home and he can tell everyone I know. And so, anyways, <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Like, Follow back comment, people. subscribe, That's tell it. your friends. We want to see more of you. Let's do this thing, man. We're going to be here tonight. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Peace. If ones could talk, if they what would they say? Every weekend and now, we're giving you up to
this is our talk time. You already know what it is. It's, it gets cracking in the talk time. All right, next up, figure it out. I don't know what to say, I'm done. Religion versus spirituality. That's what it is. That's what I was looking for. I can't remember the topic. It's right there. It's in there. It's right there. Hi, I'm sure. Shut up. Talk about me that blindness. Oh my! <laughs> What is this called? The Whisper Challenge. Don't he have That's to what it's used to first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't fuck up. You heard what?